offline mode and you can engage with your devices real time, offline. You engage with the drone. Same with smart cameras. It changes everything the way we think about it today. And it's pushing that capability down to the device, down to the drone itself. So it's making those decisions. Yes, so what you see is actually by doing that, is at first you push the intelligence to the device. So the data remain in the device, right? Remain in the device. You don't need to send it back to the cloud. Super highly responsive time, right? So you can engage with all these equipment and the, the benefits are huge. Reduce downtime for maintenance, increasing productivity, making the worker's life better, improving safety in plants. The ROI, the return on investment in these technologies is significant. And this is deployed, it's not like theoretical. We saw the video, you did it up here. So like, I love this real world explanation. Before we run out of time here, spin it forward. When we're back up here next year, what cool stuff are you gonna bring? I, I think the way to think about it is that everything is being transformed, right? But uh, something that I think is not well discussed or understood so far is that, you see what I just described? I spoke to my phone, I'm speaking to my drone, I'm speaking to the camera. So the computers or these devices are starting to understand humans and what your intent is. Think about it also what we did with the meta classes, where you have cameras here, same lenses, and, and you have an LM or a small language model here. The device starts seeing what you see, starts hearing what you hear. So it's a huge potential there. What we're saying is that these new capabilities will change the user interface, the way we engage with all these devices. In the car is the same, and we showed it. So it's quite impressive. How much time it will take to get to scale is the question. It's not the if, it's the when.